All right. Hi guys, hope you are doing well and today we are going to be talking about Sky Gold Calligraphy set. So a lot of you requested me to review this set and yes, that's what I'm going to be doing today. And if we talk about the packaging, it's pretty simple, nothing extraordinary here. And uh, I actually got the package with the wrong spelling. It actually says Sky Good. I'm just going to ignore that. And here you can see it um, has six nibs of different sizes and a pen, cartridge and a converter. And on the back side, again, it says what it contains. Some instructions are there and uh, pricing is not mentioned but uh, i got it for 325 rupees from amazon so yeah let's quickly unbox it and uh, see what do we have inside and how this pen actually performs let's do that Okay, so now I have unboxed it and straight away you can see six different nibs, six cartridges, ink converter and the pen itself. And uh, let me just pick out this pen and okay, so we have one extra nib here as well. So that makes seven nibs in total. That's a pretty good deal. Then we have total six ink cartridges and I guess these all are in blue color. I'll have to check and will update in the description box down below and uh, let me just quickly show you these nibs these nibs are not entirely straight these are slightly oblique cut and uh, yeah these belongs to broad edge calligraphy category that means you can write scripts like black letter italics foundational hand unshell all these kind of scripts you can write with these nibs and uh, let's quickly have a look at this ink converter as well so when your cartridges get empty uh, you can use this ink converter it has this screw mechanism which allows this wall to go up and down when you rotate that so here we have all the nibs the smallest one is uh, as small as 0.2 mm which goes all the way up to 3 mm so size wise uh, there shouldn't be any problem there are a plenty of uh, size options to choose from all right so let's insert one of the cartridge inside of the nib so i guess it goes inside this way yep it goes in this way so it's pretty simple you just have to push it in it has to be firm shouldn't be loose and that's it so easy so let's attach the barrel back and we are ready to write so let me just grab a piece of paper and then we can start writing so initially it can be a bit of a struggle to get the ink flow out of the nib and for that you will have to rub the pen on a piece of paper with frequent shaking I mean yeah there is uh, not an alternative to this so yeah you will have to do this and yeah after a um, couple of minutes the ink will come out of the nib so the paper that I'm using here is a normal printing paper 75 GSM and I'm just drawing some parallel lines these are not measured at all and yeah let's try to write some gothic letters Okay, so the strokes that I'm getting so far are pretty crisp. The ink flow is quite uniform too. And I must say, I am impressed with its performance so far. Also, remember the paper that I'm using is a normal printing paper and the ink isn't bleeding. So that's again a real positive. So as far as the initial impressions are concerned, I think this can be a really good set for beginners.
all right so that was black letter now let's try to write some italics Okay, now let's try some foundational hand as well. Alright, so this nib is of size 2.5 mm and I have written multiple scripts and so far the strokes are looking good and crisp. One thing I have noticed here is that I am applying substantial amount of pressure while writing these letters. But that's again something which varies from pen to pen, tool to tool and uh, you'll just have to spend some more time with it to understand your comfort zone. Again, uh, not a big deal but yeah, something you should know about. Now let's try to use the ink converter. So what you actually have to do is take this wall present inside all the way to down and then when we'll be dipping it into the ink, we have to rotate it in reverse direction and the ink will be filled inside automatically. Now what I have noticed here is that it would be better if we use the ink bottle which have the larger opening and uh, please always keep some tissues around because uh, working with ink can always get messy and you just have to insert it exactly like how we inserted the normal cartridge so yeah that's how it's done and we are good to go now let's put back this barrel and now let's try to write with this as well So again you will have to rub the pen on the piece of paper with uh, frequent shaking and the ink will start flowing from the nib. So the ink converter works perfectly fine as that of any other ink cartridge. 
um, you can refill it with any fountain pen ink just do not use uh, calligraphy ink or viscous inks otherwise it will clog the nib and uh, if you are refilling it with uh, brighter ink I would suggest you to wash it out you can use uh, warm water or simple water uh, but if you are refilling it with the darker ink you may not need to do that so yeah that's about it again the strokes are looking pretty good So now let's discuss the pros and cons and should you purchase this set or not. So first we will be starting with the pros and as you have already seen plenty of pros already we will be going through them one by one. So let's start with the first one which is the nib size range. So we get 7 nibs in total and I don't think we have any other set in this price range offer these many nib size options. So that's again a really positive thing. Second of all are the clear, crisp and sharp strokes and as we have seen already it has provided us amazing strokes and for me definitely that is a pro. Now third point is no bleeding with the original cartridges. Now this is a very important point again because you do not have to purchase some premium papers to try this pen out. So that is why this is going to be a pro. Now the fourth point is value for money and at Rs 325 what this set has to offer is definitely value for money. So despite having all these positives there are some areas where this set can be improved upon and that is why we are going to discuss the cons now. So the first one is no cap for other nibs. Now for example I am using second nib here which is uh, fitted with a ink converter. Now my first nib which is already fitted with the ink cartridge is just lying in open and it will take a lot of efforts to start writing with that again. So yes there should be some kind of cap which can be applied to other nibs when we are not using them. Now the second one is more practical in nature and you will understand this better when you write with this pen. Suppose you have left your pen open for even like 5-10 seconds the ink may not come out of this instantaneously. You will have to put some efforts. You may have to rub the pen on the paper or you may have to shake the pen as you have just seen. So yeah I have faced this issue with uh, most of the fountain pens and yeah this is uh, no different than them. Now the third point is you cannot write using the edges. For example here I am trying to write with the edges but the ink flow is not there. Ink will not be coming out through the edges of the pen. Contrary to what pilot parallel pens can do. So here I have the pilot parallel pens and as you can see we can easily write using the edges. So this provides us many different kind of strokes. But again, pilot pedal pens are quite expensive and we cannot compare these directly. It's not fair. Um, but yeah, the difference exists. Now the fourth point is all blue cartridges. Now here, I don't know if this has happened just to me or that's the way it is. Anyways, I would have liked some colored cartridges at least black and blue if not red um, also again it's not a deal breaker but yeah something you should know so there you go now you know each and everything about this set let me know if you are going to purchase it and uh, I hope you like this video it takes a lot of efforts to post this kind of video so please please give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet i'll be releasing a lot of videos on a consistent basis from now on follow me over instagram for daily dose of calligraphy and let me know if you have any queries regarding this pen as well and uh, i'm going to leave you with this beautiful processing calligraphy video and i hope you like it so i'll see you in the next one stay safe take care peace out Bye-bye. Take care.